Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button, also hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And as you can see we're back in NIMBY Rails. So uh, in the last episode you'll remember that we got our very first uh, line set up and that is a very simple one straight from Swindon to Reading. Uh, we've named it as the, uh, the Great Western Railway simply because we are you know just following that path uh, we've got two trains on here running um i will speed up time um, and then probably a little bit later in the video we'll take a look at, at the, the profitability but if we quickly take a look at the lines um and maybe accounting we can see that we're not having any um refunds which kind of suggests to me that perhaps we are uh, a little bit light on the uh, the cost of this so we could go up perhaps to 125 and we'll just take that off and uh, we'll see how we get on but really the uh, the main aim for today is to create um, our branch line that goes uh, through Didcot and up to Oxford so we're going to be putting two stations in um, and it will be starting off in Reading now there's two kind of options here we either put a new station in and come out along hit this way across through Didcot and up through potentially Abington or then to Oxford or we allow them to connect onto the main line um, and I'm kind of thinking we perhaps go parallel along the main line uh, now that's kind of simply to um, I guess uh, and we want to just do it 300 so um, I don't really want to interfere with the uh, the kind of the main line which is obviously the green line that you keep sort of seeing coming in and out here um, yeah that's kind of not what we want to do so let's just escape that one didn't want to do that so that's our first station and that will connect into I believe that connects in we might just undo that one and just make it a little bit closer just want to make sure they do obviously connect together uh, that looks oh I had it just there there we go that's it so those two are now connected otherwise we would have had two separate stations and not the connection uh, the transfer that, that occurs from having them together like that um, so we've got our first station there we'll then look where oh I'm a little bit lost uh, there we are uh, where we pop the Didcot station so I think we will put it in somewhere around here so let's get our our station again and here yeah, looks as good as any this is we'll only have this one to be um, 200 meters or 250 we'll have it at 250 because it does help with um, and that's Dickot Town FC <laughs> solid name and then the last but not least is Oxford now you can kind of see here the original train line that comes in into the centre here, uh, which I quite like actually. Um, somewhere around here, perhaps. So let's again, again, we'll probably make this one. Uh, somewhat 250, I think. Yeah, that looks about right. And actually, Oxford could be a candidate in the future for a tram to help get some of these, obviously, a lot of this catchment area here to the train station. So there's definitely room for for expansion. So first of all, let's get those three stations built. So that was a just 30 million, he says. And um, I think we'll start in Oxford and work our way down. So. Let's get the track tool and we'll start our adventure. So we're going to try and keep. Uh, we've instantly hit a snag. So we're going to go straight to viaduct, I think, to get over this here. And then we'll go back to ground. And we'll do that pretty quickly because the, the longer it is, 
the more expensive it will be. And we can keep it coming once we get that's a pretty bit fine. Again, we'll just keep coming south. Ooh, let's just skip that. Let's just move this node here to get. There we go. So we we really are just following uh, existing tracks at the minute, which is fine. I'm gonna have to do a viaduct here just to get over this river. And then we'll go back to ground here. So. We want to keep these viaducts as short as possible because as you can see straight away you know just doing a kilometer of viaduct is nearly 10 million in comparison to 15 kilometers of at 15 million so there is a bit of a an incentive there to keep this as low as possible so again there's quite a few rivers around here so we just need to be careful here or we'll just over the river we go and then straight back to ground and we're now not far from Digcock so uh, let's actually back this up just a touch as far as we can go there we go that's better we want to try and keep this as kind of uh, yeah that will do so that's Oxford to Didcot, which is fairly, fairly straight. And then, uh, for some reason, we've got a branch in there. I think that was when I was playing around earlier. It's uh, it's kind of stuck in there. <laughs> Never mind. We can uh, we can take that out in just a second. So we'll come out of Didcot this way. It's always fun trying to get out of these towns, trying to avoid doing too many kind of overpasses. I think we're going to have to go on. There we go. Uh, we just need to now work out where we're going to. No, we could scoot out this way potentially. So let's just have a look, see what this looks like we might have to vide up some of this mm, yeah i think we're gonna possibly have to so let's go to the viaduct just to get over ah don't take might just have to nudge this one back a bit there we go oh want it to start just there now we'll add a bit more viaduct just to get us probably just to here we should be able to go back to ground no don't want to do that always forget to change there we go now um Let's have a look where we want to meet up. So we've got to come north of South Stoke. So I think we're going to branch off this way, he says. We need to... And we're going to have to viaduct over the river. Just go over that bit there. Because that looked like that was going to be quite painful. type of direction oh, there's so many roads around here can we that's fine yeah we're on the right track now I'm sure we're uh, going across some lovely countryside here so this won't interfere with obviously the main Little north, I think. So we'll go here. 
we'll just change our attack angle. Ooh, come on, take there we go, and there we go, and that gives us. And actually, that does line us up pretty nicely, actually, to then viaduct across the. Nope, didn't want to viaduct from there. there and then we go back to ground and we can carry on this way and it's slightly longer than I wanted but hey there we go and we are connected so that is our oh we've got a bit here that's not plain ball let's just have a look what's happened here nope I want to there we go so to build what is going to be 66 kilometers which will like i say takes us from reading to digcot and then up to oxford it's 131 million so not a small amount of money that um so let's let's buy it we're gonna need it um next thing we want to do is create our next line so it will go all the way in and uh we're going to stops and we want to add so we're going to go be going from c all the way up here to a and then to b and then oh can't find path who Ah, did I? I pressed the wrong one. Aha, that's why. That's better. There we go. Yeah, we can see now. And that's in a nice pinky colour. Mm, we'll change it probably. Maybe to go more red. More red, yeah, there we go. That's it. And we're going to call this one. What should we call it? Uh, the Oxford... Branch. Ooh, how the fuck is spelled? Uh, and we'll code this O X B. Yeah, there we go. Uh, base price will have fifty, and we'll have a kilometer price as one for now. Um, we've got a. Uh, yeah, we'll leave it as that for now we now need to get some trains so let's get into purchase trains now uh, just a reminder I have downloaded uh, some additional trains from the steam workshop so it's really important that you do that because actually um, what I find is that the kind of the base uh, base trains you get in here aren't uh, don't give you a great range or variety so strongly recommend you, you do that we do have here um, some of the um, turbo stars, um, and I think perhaps a four car um, or a three car. That's 292 passengers. I quite like class 171, 292 passengers, maintenance cost of 2000 a day. And yeah. How many do we think we need? They're 25 million a go, so they're not, they're not cheap, are they? Um, we'll start with three for now, and we'll have a base color of the red as well. Bit the decal, we can only have the one, that's perfectly fine for me, so we'll purchase those. First thing we need to do is get them assigned to the Oxford branch. Do this for this one, and finally the third one. There we go. So they should all now be assigned. Uh, what I didn't check was the max top speed. So max speed is 160 kilometers an hour. So if we do the estimate the travel time, and we can, I do I think they'll be doing the 160 all the way. So total time is going to be, uh, what have we got, 36, 
seven. So if we have, hmm, they have spread themselves out pretty nicely, but minimal wind fuel times of at least 10 minutes, I think across the piece here. Um, that way they should stay pretty nicely spread out, I think. Um, three might be a little too many, but it does give us the option perhaps to extend on to somewhere else in the future, who knows. Um, so we'll leave that there for now. Let's just have a look at our accounting. So we've got the fare is two, only 100 at the minute out of uh, 1800. So not too many people complaining. But uh, as you can see, it seems to be doing quite a few passengers given that we're what late on a Friday. Uh, let's just take a quick look at what's happening on the Great Western. We are making a million. It's not bad if we'd look at the day before. Uh, that was obviously the first day it was built, so only what, nearly a quarter of a million. It kind of makes me think that we could potentially pop this up just a little. So let's go to 145 and uh, we'll see if that helps bring in any more. And obviously we could just adjust down slightly the price if we start to see refunds being issued. Um, as we are here obviously on, on the Oxford branch, but actually it's so few, I'm kind of not, I don't mind. Um, but as you can see also the transfer in here is really helps uh, will generate some uh, more passengers for the Great Western Railway. So, you know, if people from the likes of Oxford and Didcot do want to get to, say, Swindon, for example. So, guys, that probably brings a conclusion to today's episode. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, do give it a, uh, a thumbs up by hitting that like button. Also hit the subscribe button, and I'm sure that I will see you in the next NIMBY Rails video. Uh, and we'll continue with the expansion and I think uh, just as a little hint as probably what we'll be doing is uh, probably expanding the uh, Great Western Rail Railway uh, I think we'll go west potentially to Chippenham and Bath that looks like a natural kind of uh, natural kind of route and uh, we've got half a billion in the bank so absolutely plenty uh, and in the meantime, what we'll do is we'll, we'll keep time going forward a little bit so that we can start to get a feel for, for how the, uh, the finances are doing. So, guys, until next time, bye-bye.